great recipes start with Odlums. Proud sponsors of Catherine Layden on Ireland AM. Now, making the perfect pavlova is really easy if you follow our baking queen, Catherine Layden's simple and quick recipe. So, Catherine, exactly. what now, rules do we need to stick to? First of all, a clean, dry mixing bowl. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm using a very large bowl today because um, I do the all-in-one method. And it's done a lot quicker. So if one bowl, free. no mess, that's no it. No messy, yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, now saving you, the yolks. Saving the yolks for the mm -hmm. lemon curd. Oh, yes. And um, as I say, freestanding mixer will be done in about five minutes, right? Okay. Maybe three minutes. Okay. But if you're using a hand mixer, it'll take slightly longer. Yeah. All the ingredients and achy muscles in the arms after and that, yeah. I'd say. Yeah. And sometimes if you find the mixer getting hot, mm. um, turn it off for just a few minutes. Okay. And then back into it again. Okay. So three egg whites into the mixing bowl. Right. To that, we're going to add 12 ounces of granulated sugar. Okay. The ordinary sugar you put in your tea. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's going good. a bit dry. That's stuck in the bowl, on us. <laughs> <laughs> now, to that we're going to add a tablespoonful of corn flour. What does the corn flour do? And the corn flour it up, gives you it? the lovely marshmallowy centre. Oh, lovely, right. Okay, yep. so the corn flour in. Then to that we're going to add a teaspoonful of vanilla essence uh -huh. and a teaspoonful of vinegar. So uh, the vanilla essence, obviously for flavour. What's for the flavor. vinegar for? The vinegar combines with the um, corn flour to give you the marshmallow centre. Is that right? Okay. okay. And you don't notice, the, obviously, the taste of the vinegar in it. Oh, afterwards. not at all. It's no. kind of covered by the sweetness. No. So now a teaspoonful of the vinegar. Yeah. And to that then we add four tablespoonfuls of boiling water, believe it or not. And we have the water boiling here. Yeah. So we're just going to put our four tablespoons in. Okay. One. One. Two. Go. Three. three. And four. Okay. Lovely. Now... That goes into the onto the mixer, sorry, and oh. you beat it until it's lovely and thick. Now to save on a lot of noise. time and noise yeah. here today, just before we came on air, ah. ha ha, the pro. I was inside, and this is what the mixture should look like. Okay, lovely and light and really fluffy light and gorgeous. And thick, yeah. Okay, yeah. now you just transfer that then to a large flat baking tray mm -hmm. with baking parchment. That's this now, paper this here. This is this paper yeah. here, yeah. You can tell now, I bake that, can't you? <laughs> a good quality baking parchment machine is important. Okay. So now we just... Now, if you were very particular, yeah. you could take an icing bag and pipe your meringue. Now you see what it's like. It's a very, very thick mixture. Thick mixture. You just press, flatten that out in a round shape. Yeah. As I say, if you were being very fussy, you could pipe it round. You preheat your oven to 120 for about an hour and then down to 110 for about half an hour. So it needs to be in for an hour and a half to cook? An hour and a half. Does it really? Because really what you're doing is you're making, you're basically making the meringue, you're just technically you're just drying it out, to be honest. Right, okay, That's just all you're doing. the moisture out of now, it. Yeah, okay. to build up the sides then, we just pile yeah. tablespoonfuls of the meringue around the sides. Oh, I see. So we have a hollow centre for yeah. the cream and the fruit. So we just, as the fella says, lorry this round. Lorry it. <laughs> lorry it around. <laughs> Have your hollow centre. Yeah. And then that's what you fill in with the fruit. And then the fill out yeah. the fruit and cream, which we're going to do in a minute. Mm -hmm. With the famous one we made earlier. Yes. Because taking an hour and a half, I wasn't going to get this made. <laughs> you wouldn't get away with that? No, I wouldn't. No. <laughs> so now we just bring that around. And Lovely. it's ready, just about ready for the oven. Okay. And we just swivel that in. Now it's really, really simple to make, but the trick is those ingredients into the bowl and we're going to pop this now into the oven. Just That's this really oven here, we'll put it into Ian, thanks a million. In she goes. Yeah. And... Fast forward in time. Fast forward. And here we are. Here's the one that we made last night. Now, <laughs> do you remember and we mentioned at the top of, top of the hour there, Ian, that we had, you can make your lemon curd with your leftover egg yes. yolks. And I have a recipe with the pavlova for the lemon curd. Now, lemon curd goes very well with the cream and the fruit. Beautiful. And look at the consistency of it. Of it. The, 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 the sweet and sour sort of effect, isn't it? Absolutely. It's yeah. gorgeous. It's really it? tiny yeah. in this, off this uh, lemon curd. Just to tell you, make sure, and I remember my mother, God rest her soul, making lemon curd for us. Again, yeah. she was very economical. And um, it's, you have to stand over the pot. This took me about 20 minutes to stir. Oh, okay. But it's really worth it with the taste you it get. It is. There's, no, there's nothing oh, like homemade lemon beat curd. It. Can't beat it. And then cream? Doesn't compare at all with the, the, the commercial stuff, stuff yeah. no. Yeah. Now, cream, I'm going to keep a bit of cream back for Sinead. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> I think... She won't have the sugar, you see. So we keep a bit of cream and fruit for Sinead. Okay, give her a spoon and a bowl of cream, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And here we have the fruit, then. 
And I have a combination of raspberries, blackberries and blueberries. So super, fu super fruits in on top of it. So this is actually a good for you, uh, dessert. A very good for you, dessert. Yeah. Oh, I don't think. When we get away from the sugar and the cream exactly. and all the rest, yeah. Now, Ian, there we have our puff over. Gorgeous. No. So if you bring over a plate there, we'll serve uh -huh. up a slice of it for you. Really, really simple to make. Have we a shark? How long would that last have? now, uh, without going off? <laughs> in most homes, it doesn't last. <laughs> About ten minutes. <laughs> very long at all. Yeah, yeah. But, um, That's never the if, issue, If huh? you make your mm. pavlova, put it once it's gone completely cold and hard, put it into an airtight container, yeah. and it will keep for about a week. Will it? It will. Come yeah. on, word. That's what vinegar is. But I say, in well, most houses, in well most well homes, it sugar. doesn't. No, exactly. Now. Let me at it. And this should have the lovely meringue base to it. That's the bit I'm looking forward to now. Now, Ooh. hello. Hello. Are we all set? And they call this work. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Mmm. What I really love is the uh, the contrast, lightness of the middle, and then the lemon curd cutting through. Beautiful. I think lemon curd is the secret of that recipe. It is absolutely. Now beautiful. Now, if you miss any details from Catherine's delicious and quick pavlova recipe, I'm salivating here. You can catch her. In action online at tb3.ie forward slash Ireland AM. Now, still to come this morning, Noel Cunningham is back with his pick of events from around Ireland for the month ahead. And the fashion guru, Darren Kennedy, <laughs> is here with advice on your look. Do stay tuned, this is something else. Great stuff. Great recipes start with Odlums. Proud sponsors of Catherine Layden on Ireland AM.